everybody in here and Papa <laughs> had to get up early today to go into town super early to beat the heat if I was gonna take Papa with me and um, I didn't want to leave him in a hot tiny house so we just went to the store and today I got to work on some stuff kind of surrounding kickstand because he's having trouble getting up into the coop to roost for the night I made a little step system because kickstand does not seem to be able to get up there like everybody else. I mean, he can fly, but it doesn't look like he can fly up. It looks like he can fly down. I think that'll change as time goes by, but he's just really uncoordinated right now. So, I built this. Just little increments. The only thing is, is I think there's too great a distance between this and this, and too great a distance between this and this. And I'm thinking that, I don't know. I don't know if it'll work or not. We'll see. We will see. <laughs> this little guy. He's just so sweet. And I'm pretty sure it's a rooster because he does his little baby tidbitting thing. I've noticed him picking up food and putting them down in front of the other two over here. So... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see at roosting time. Last night, both of these got up into the coop by themselves, and then I had to wrangle this one and put them in. So, I don't know. Maybe tonight it'll be different. We'll just see. If not, I'm going to have to change things. I need to move that, that out of the way. I think that'll interfere with him. Just hopping up on it. So I don't know. We're just gonna have to wait and see how it goes. I did get this fixed. I replaced the one that was coming off and then I replaced the one that was completely off. So hopefully that'll work a little bit better. I hope so. Get out of kickstand's way, chicken. Come on, girl, move. Come on, guy, you can do it. There you go. Oh, looks like Miss Beauty has already laid me an egg. Yeah, it feels like she just laid it. She made me a little opening here so I could get in easier so I don't have to go all the way through this coop. And then I just need to get a bungee or something to just kind of tie it off and close it up when I need to have it closed. Hey, beauty. Look at her. That walk is getting better and better. Let's see what's going on in the garden. Beans are doing fine. The petty pan squash is doing fine. And guess what, guys? I've got cucumbers coming up in all three spots. Hooray! Yeah, the passion fruit vine is <laughs> not doing so hot. These two, one that I think is going to make it. Not so sure about that one, though. But I just need to dig, dig deeper next time. But the chocolate mint that I planted down here is taking off, so that's awesome. What I would really love is if some of these peas and beans are starting to come up. Oh, yep. Yep, I don't know if you can see down in there, but there's peas coming up over there. I'm not going to check the other ones. Oh, these are coming out of the, the bedding right here. So, yeah, they're definitely starting to come up, the beans, the peas. And over here, yep, right there, right 
<laughs> there, can you see it? Yep, they're starting to come up. So hopefully it is going to rain tonight like the weather reports say that it is. Give this all a nice soaking. I soaked it really well. You can kind of tell because it leaked all over the place last night. So please, 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 God, let it rain tonight. These are both empty. That's almost empty, and I've started using that quite a bit. So, But my peas are growing up. And look at these tomatoes. They are catching up with the others. Zucchinis going crazy. I need to get the rest of those steaks up and around here. I don't know if I'll do that today. I should probably do it before it rains. This over here is doing absolutely great. Look how tall they're getting, you guys. Look at that. I, I see blooms on every plant. It won't be long before I have tomatoes, I'm sure of it. Look at you guys. Somebody else made dream cheese after watching my video. This comes from Mary Jane Carr. She emailed me the photo and she made a batch up herself and she already told me she tasted it a little bit. Not after it's been cured for a week or two, but she tasted it and she said it was really good. So I cannot wait to see how she likes it after it's cured for a week or two. So if any of you out there also make the dream cheese send me a photo of it and I'll share it this makes me so happy that somebody actually did something that I did awesome I did manage to get the ceiling insulation 100% done it is all done and let me tell you it has made a world of difference inside this tiny house already during the summer um, it stays cooler longer but I'm about to turn on the air conditioner right now because it's uh, heating up but I'm glad I got that done, so now I just need to find materials to finish it up. Inside the tiny house right now, trying to stay cool because it is record-breaking temperatures early in the season. Anyhow, so uh, I'm going to flip that air conditioner on in a little bit. Um, I'm trying to use the air conditioner as little as possible because I've just got a little bit of propane left. I've got two two tanks that I can use, one inside and one outside that goes to the generator and I'm running low and I'll tell you what, propane has become really expensive. So I need to get some propane um, and as soon as <laughs> YouTube sends me my money, I will, uh, and I think I won't be able to get both of them filled, maybe just one, but I want to get at least one totally filled. Um, the one for the outside that attaches to the generator because I can always cook over a fire. That's no big deal because I am getting Papa fixed. It's going to come very, very soon. He is going to get fixed, um, but before I make the appointment, I, I need to get that propane because I want to be able to keep him indoors. I want to be able to keep him cool and comfortable, and I, believe I will be using a lot of propane to be able to accomplish that. So... Um, very soon, within the next week or two, I'm hoping, if I can get an appointment, that is. Um, I'm not even going to call and make the appointment until I have the um, propane, because I need to make sure that he can stay cool. So, um, I'm just thrilled that I'm going to be, be able to do that very soon, though, because I think it'll, I mean, he's a good dog, as it is, anyhow, and somebody said they miss Papa in the comment section, yeah, I'll, I'll try and show him more, um, he's just been doing a lot of laying around, he's over there laying down right now, um, because it's hot, you know, and he's got lots of fur. Anyhow, nothing else is going on, just trying to stay cool, um, so that's all I got for you guys today, see you in the next video! for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.